Hello, my loved ones. You are welcome back to the Court Fashion House channel. My name is Fola. Uh, we appreciate as many that has been subscribing to this channel. Thank you very much. If you are not yet subscribed, do wait to subscribe today. Um, today we'll be learning how to make one simple kind of like, uh, dress. I'll be making use of this uh, olive green crepe fabric to make it. We'll be using just like two years out of this uh, fabric. So let's get started. Here I have come with my uh, back pattern, you know, to cut out our front uh, cut. For this pattern, I have here the length of my body. This is the uh, body's pattern. It gets to the half length. I mean, the waistline is 15, I mean, 16 inches. We have half an inch and half an inch as our uh, joining allowance. We have our chest line of 8.5 inches. The line you are seeing here, I first mark out one inch, one inch here, then I draw a straight line. This will serve as my zipper allowance for the back. The shoulder line is a seven inches, seven inches shoulder line. I mark it here. This is my chest line, 8.5. Then I mark the seven inches there as well and connect it with straight ruler. And then I get my bust circumference. The bust circumference we are working with is a 34. I divide it by four, gives me 8.5. I mark 8.5 here. And that is what I use to connect my humble cuff. Then I come to the waist line region. Then I get my bust pan, which is a seven divided by two. Uh, give us 3.5. I mark it here. I mark it here as well. Then I connect it with straight ruler to get my dart. I come to the left and to the right with above an inch. I connect it. I connected it to get this uh, dart you see here. Then on the waist line, I measure my the waist. The waist we are working with is 26. I divide it by 4. Gives me 6.75. This is 3 quarter. I mark it here. Then I return this uh, or dart of 1 inch. Then I connect it before I now get my one inch seam allowance by the side and connect it. So that is how far we are going with this uh, body pattern. Then I come to the to the neckline region. I step down with one inch. Then the wideness of my neck is uh, uh, three inches. Then I connect it. So I come down here with one inch to draw out my shoulder slope. So that is for the back. I come. I step inward with half an inch to. You know to shape my center back to avoid the zipper budging so i step upward with uh, two inches from the chest line so that is how i connected this so the next thing is for us to just cut out this to cut out our fabric for the back cuts then we move to the business of today which is the uh, front cut so let me just cut out this so then another thing i'll be doing here is that if you look at that uh, uh, thumbnail, you will see that the, for the uh, shoulder length of that uh, uh, style, it's step inward a bit in that shoulder region. So that is why I will be uh, stepping inward with one inch in the shoulder length, in my shoulder length here, one inch. Then I reconnect my arm cuff just this way. Yeah. So this is what I will be cutting out. So for that uh, neck um, arm region, I've not added the uh, seam allowance. This is for the back. I'll just go ahead and use this one to cut out my uh, back uh, uh, body snap for the um, with my fabric. Now I've gone ahead to cut out the uh, back cut with my fabric. It is open here, so we have two pieces of this. And the uh, other inch is being added to the shoulder region here, and the armpit, uh, arm cuff, arm cuff region. Other inch is being added here. So I will just remove the pin so as to use this to cut out the front. Now we want to modify this uh, our back pattern now to make our front uh, pattern. And the first thing we'll be doing is to make away with this uh, zipper allowance i'm going to cut off this zipper allowance yeah the next thing we'll be doing we'll be getting rid of is a uh, this uh, that we don't need i will not be making use of that for the front uh, uh, pattern so that wise all i will do is just to you know this is the that that we return that one inch here so our original um waist circumference is a 
um, 26, we divide it by, I mean, 27, we divide it by 4, give us 6 three quarter, which happens to be here. So we just get, as we have gotten our um, seam allowance of 1 inch here, we just connect it straight to this. We just get 1 inch seam allowance. So this one, we serve as our seam allowance now from this point, 1 inch. Then we connect to the bust region. Then we cut it out. So for the front, we don't need this uh, that. So this is the pattern for the uh, front cut. So the next thing we'll be doing is just to do our uh, slash and spread method here yeah, now. So to achieve that, we we'll just step upward here by the uh, hammer region, just step up with one inch. Then connect it to the chest line. Having done that, you open this now. Just the way from the center front. Just the way you see me doing. To this uh, end. Don't cut everything. So you want to spread it. So the next thing is to take fresh paper. Put on it. So just pin it down on this fresh paper. Then you now spread it. You spread just anyhow you want it as much as you want that front uh, to be dropped so for this project i think i'll give uh, like five inches five to six, uh, six inches let me use 5.5 so i pin it down see we're having 5.5 here if you are good to, to make use of the uh, six seven even eight is as much as you want it to to drop yeah this is it so the next thing we do is just to we are going to connect it you measure what you're having here we have like a 18 three quarter now we mark it here connect it to this end Yes, so we want to cut it out now. So note that we have not added a seam allowance to this region. That one will be done in our fabric. So just go ahead and add your uh, seam allowance to it even before you cut out this uh, pattern. Have an inch joining allowance. Come to the ham with you. So this is it. Every other uh, seam allowance has been taken care of. We have taken care of the side seam allowance and that of the waist uh, joining allowance has been added. So I'm going to cut it up now. So this is it. This is what you'll be using to, to cut out your front uh, um, bodies. So I can you can remove this and you can you can leave it. This is the for the front now. So let me use it to cut out our fabric and show you how it looks like. Now I've cut out my front pattern. You can see it's on fold in the I mean, at the center front region. So let me just remove the pin. So we see how it looks like. So here we have it. This is how how this is how it's going to be in the front region there. You can see that our our cow neck is already formed. 
here we have it so the next thing we want to do is to cut out the facing and to cut out the facing ensure that you cut this out up to i mean step down with like two inches from the uh armpit region let it be up to this uh, uh point because you know our uh, this our dress is not having a sleeve so that that's your uh, facing will will be used to you know turn up the armhole region and for the back cut you can see that i have notched the the center where my um that will be head for the front the dart is already eliminated so let's cut out the facing cut out the facing for the back uh, as well so just place your Place it this way. Cut, cut out your facing. To cut out the facing for the back, so let your fabric, I mean, the, uh, your fabric you're using for the uh, back facing extend like three inches downward from the armpit region as well, the way you did in the front. The essence of this is for the reason why we step down with three inches is for us to uh, save the uh, ammo region because it's not going to be having seen. So for this back, all you need to do you can just use your, your cuff to connect it. This is for the back. Back facing. Now, this is the front bodies, and I've gone ahead to cut out the facing for the uh, bodies. So, the next thing I want to do before we go ahead and join it at the upper region here, I mean at the neckline region, is for me to shape it. You have to blend from this shoulder length, blend to this end. Just use your front off to achieve that just place it this way so you cut off this so that you won't have issue when you're turning it yeah i'll do the same thing to this uh, um facing then we go ahead and join it together after shaping it after shaping it here this is what we have the same thing is done to the uh, facing then the next thing is for us to join to place the facing on the main fabric and join it from the shoulder region here we join it with our have an joining allowance so but well, before we uh, do that let me go and cut the um the skirt part of this uh, dress so that we'll join uh, we begin to join everything together we join the the skirt part to it then everything will be in line now I've gone ahead to cut out the, the skirt part. So this is the front uh, part of the skirt part. Um, I measure up and joining allowance up here. Uh, rule. So the length of our uh, dress is, is a three quarter. So we'll be making use of like 50, I mean 50 to 52 inches would be the length of our gown. So and uh, you know the body's uh, length was uh, 16 inches. So just place your your tape measure this way this one is joining this half an inch is joining allowance this is 16 inches so from that you measure you take your full length uh, the full length of your gun so the full length of our gun is like a uh, 50.5 so we have a uh, one inch joining allowance at the hem uh, region of the skirt this is the tip of the skirt one inch is a uh, folding allowance so and the the waist circumference of the client is a uh, 27. We divide it by four. We have a uh, 6.75. That's what we have here. The one inch uh, seam allowance, side seam allowance. You know, for the front part, we don't have a uh, 
that we don't um, put that in our um, front uh, bodies so there is no that in the skirt part as well so we move down with eight inches from the waistline that is our hip uh, hip line eight inches and the if the uh, circumference we are working with is a uh, 38 we divide it by four we have a uh, 9.5 9.5 then we have our one inch uh, side seam allowance so from that hip region we step down with just two inches we rule it so the same thing you measure in your hip line is what you measure in these uh, two inches that you step down with so the essence of that is just to to for you to be able to connect your um hip to the waist region easily so you just place your off this way you ensure that your cover is is joining from that uh, two inches you step down with to your hip and straight to your waist uh, uh, waistline hope you are seeing what i'm doing here you can see the way it is so don't just place your tape measure i mean tape um cover rule anyhow you can see if you place it this way it will it has escaped this and if you just you can't just place it anyhow ensure that it catches these three points at the same time it touches these two inches you come down with to your hip then straight to your waistline then from there you come to the tip of your skirt you measure whatever you are having in your waistline that is another way you can shape your skirt i mean your pencil skirt whatever you are having here return it at the tip there or you just add quarter of an inch there so or you just measure your hip hip measurements your hip measurement is a 9.5 then just deduct a 2.5 so as to have a uh, that a pencil effect very well deduct 2.5 from your hip uh, measurements when you deduct 2.5 from the from 9.5 you have a 7 inches so i measure 7 inches here then i measure the 1 inch uh, side seam allowance then i connect it straight to this uh, i connect it to this point so that is how all about the skirt pad and it is on foot. Mind the front cut of your skirt is on foot. So I've cut it out. Let me just remove this. So this is our skirt and this is what we have. So that is for the front uh, pattern. For the back uh, pattern, here we have it. I've cut it out as well. This is it, but there are uh, uh, little difference to that of the front. So for the back uh, skirt part, the first thing I did was is of the same uh, length. So the first thing I did is to measure two inches from the center back. I measure in two inches. I measure it in down at the tip of the skirt here. Then I connect it with straight ruler. So thereafter, I measure one inch, which is our zipper allowance. I measure one inch uh, you know, to the front. I measure it at the down parts as well. Then I connect it with straight ruler. So this one inch you are seeing here will serve as our zipper allowance and the remaining one inch you are seeing here part of it will serve as a uh, overlap i mean just to overlap the slit uh, part so that is the way the uh, owner of this uh, dress wants it so she wants her skirt to be overlapped at the slit uh, region there so that it will not be just be it will not be opening anyhow so the next thing we do is to come to the waist uh, region out of that uh, one inch, we we step inward with half an inch to shape the the back uh, of our uh, zipper, you know, to avoid the zipper bulging. The same thing we did for the bodies. So then we come to the hip line. So we connect that half an inch. We connect it to the hip uh, hip line. So having done that, we measure. We get our that there is that for the back cut. We get the uh, bust pan we get it that's through our bust pan which is a uh, seven inches we divide five it by two it gives us a 3.5 we measure 3.5 then we rule it to connect to the hip line then on it we come to the right and to the left with half an inch to form our dart then we connect it so then we measure the uh waist circumference which is a uh, six point uh, seven five six three quarter you measure it six three quarter this is it then this half an inch that you have deducted from your zipper allowance, you return it, have an inch. Then this uh, that allowance of one inch, you return it. Thereafter, you get your side seam uh, allowance of one inch. So you come to the hip, you measure your hip, take your hip measurements, and then get your 
side seam of one inch. So every other thing done here is the same way we did it for the front cut. This is only the region that we have a uh, different then. To get your dart, you step from that, you step down from that uh, waistline with four inch, four inches. That is what you use to connect your dart. Then you now come to the to this uh, overlap, the one inch allowance you have set aside to overlap your slit here. So you measure from the waist region, you get like 20 inches. You measure 20 inches, mark it on the 20 inches point. And then there you just take your cuff rule, measure that 20 inches, mark it here. So take your cuff rule, just connect it this way, you can see. So that is the way we are going to cut it. So we open our slits from down here to this way, then we now we begin to cut it. So let's just watch as I cut now. So when you get to this region, then cut this way. So this is it, and you just notch, notch it here. With that, uh, is here all you're going to to note where to hold your dart is being not so that is it for the skirt and when i remove it this is what we have you have to piece for the back now the next thing i'll be doing now is to go ahead and join the this is the um upper part of the front court the bodies so we just grab the skirt part i will go and join the waist together join it by the waist with the half an inch our joining allowance i will do that having done that i will join this uh, this upper part upper region of the bodies front bodies uh, with half an inch as i just said you can see that i have notched it where it's meant to be uh, stopped this is the uh, shoulder length yeah, you can see the notch so i'll just join it from this notch to this end then i'll turn it and top stitch so that is for the front cut so for the back cut this is the uh, the back cut with a uh, facing this is the facing i'll go ahead and hold my dart with half an inch this is the dart region i'll hold it um with half an inch just the way we hold our uh, dart that is for the upper part so for the down parts i will hold the dart where it is necessary as well you know we have uh, this is where our skirt that is notched i hold it with up to the 4.5 uh, level learning allowance for four inches so i'll do the same thing to this one then i will go ahead and join the after holding the dart i will join it with half an inch at the um waist region so for the the facing for the back so what i'll be doing for the facing is to measure this is the center back i'll just measure in 1.5 1.5 and connect it with straight ruler then i cut it away so you will see you'll be seeing the essence of this in the course of the uh, class this which i'm cutting is facing so having joined the down parts and the upper part of the back together, we will apply our zipper. So we fix our zipper before joining the uh, facing. So by the time after uh, we have fixed our zipper and this facing is being joined to it, you will, everything is correct itself. You will see the outcome. Now I've gone ahead to to join the um, skirt part to the bodies. Here we have it. I overlock it if you choose to use lining you can hard line it to your own at the um skirt region there so and i join this upper part of the front bodies with half an inch you can see it thereafter i, I joined the hammer region with half an inch so i decided not to top stitch this part because i don't want it to lose its uh, flexibility so let it be flexible in that uh, region so then turn it to the right side and then you iron it very well by the time it drops this way if you top stitch it tends to be rigid in that uh, region 
this is the back part. I've gone ahead to hold my darts, then I, I fix the zipper. This is where the slit starts. Uh, one part of the slit, I have to, you know, iron it down. I gum it down with a hem gum. I use hem gum in there, then I iron it. That is for the for just one part. So thereafter, I stitch it here. So you can see the outcome here. This is the way it will overlap it. So then the next thing I will do here to to release this space is just to open it this way. Just open it this way, and then you can just trim off this. So that it will enable you to iron it. Then I will go and overlock all this uh, area. I will iron it down very well. So now for the for the back facing. So you know we have trim over one point five. So the next thing we will do is to join it. We'll go ahead and join it. By the time we join it with cut out of an inch, so I will just let, let me overlap it with half an inch. So you can see that it become a, a normal. So by the time we now stitch here with quarter to uh, one centimeter, you sew it down. By the time you flip it back, everything will be normal. Then you um, join it by the armor region again before we, you now insert the front to the uh, the front shoulder to the back shoulder. Then I will join the side and uh, the our beautiful dress will be ready. Now I've gone ahead to join the shoulder region together. I I mean after joining the neckline, back neckline, I join it and I top stitch. So I now inserted the uh, front shoulder to the back shoulder. Then before then I've joined the back in the armor region, then I inserted the front to the back. So thereafter, I join the side together. This is it. I ensure that the armpits region, the lining and the uh, main fabric are aligned. So I join it together and I top stitch a little bit just from here to this end. Then I stitch it down so that it will not be flipping up when you put it on. I join the side, then I, I overlock the tip of the dress and I use a M gum to gum it down. That's all. That's how we come to the end of this uh, class. So I'm sure you have really enjoyed this class. Share this video with your friends. And uh, if you are yet to subscribe, subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to drop your comments on the comment section. I would love to hear your comment on this dress. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.